So uh, I want to just talk a little bit about using JavaScript for custom functions. I hope you see my screen. So this was an idea we had a day or two again uh, ago when uh, Philip showed how he uses um, evaluate to run JavaScript, no, to run a FileMaker expression from a database. And I thought I could do the same with JavaScript. So we have here a table with uh, defining some functions with parameters and with a JavaScript body. Um, the plugin can uh, well install the function and then you can call it. And the actual call is done with an MBS call, which I thought about how can I get it as short as possible. So I made a gs.cf function. <laughs> Um, to just call this custom function we defined. So it has a name and you just pass through the values from FileMaker and you get back the result from JavaScript. And the concat function is a simple example. Let's show you another one. There's a mass function, which um, allows you to well, uh, send in uh, numbers and let's just put here a difference. So I have, localization in, um, yeah, that's something we may work on because I should take the German notation here. Okay, it's, it's just fresh new, I coded it yesterday. So we have a split example here, uh, which uh, takes some text, that's the text processing in uh, JavaScript and then gives you back a result. And uh, here's another example, which uses json.pass to, to pass some JSON and gives you back a result. So you can define your own custom functions in JavaScript. We have some in, in a database. And then uh, there's a start script here, which creates a new JavaScript environment. And the key thing here is yesterday, I added um, the possibility to name your JavaScript environment. So instead of getting a number back from the plugin, um, you would um, name it. And uh, this JS uh, instance is now a little bit special in the plugin that you can just refer to it without, uh, without specifying it with this new custom function to make it easier for you to call. So this start script loops over the records and register each function. And that's simply by using our add function function to well, pass the name and the actually uh, function declaration to the JavaScript engine. And the parameters are here uh, collected and well, the JavaScript function is built. And we can we can just test it here. We have this uh, test button, um, which executes the uh, function with example values here. And uh, when you just want to call a function, you can of course use our existing uh, call function function passing in the JavaScript environment as a parameter or the new shortcut here to call the function by, by name. And I even tried to uh, make a custom function for that, but I have the problem that um, you can't have variable parameter counts here. So if you want to use that, you would have to use different ones for different uh, number of parameters and they just all call through to the normal functions. Any comments, questions? Okay. Instead of multiple uh, parameters, you can use one JSON object. Yeah, but I, I thought it was cool to, that you can just call it with mm -hmm. passing normal FileMaker parameters. Yeah. It's, especially with, with this parameters, we can distinguish, uh, well, we should be able to distinguish between um, text parameters and something like a number. And so I would usually expect that the plugin should be able to just take the number uh, 
with a comma as a separator and then pass it to JavaScript uh, with a dot and um, on the same the way back. So people in, in Europe can use comma and people in US can use dot. And basically because the developer ah. designs the function. If 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 they want to send in a JSON text, they can they can just make it so you know it would yeah. just be expecting one parameter, and and then you have to send in the field or the variable yeah. that holds your your JSON. Uh, I forgot to say uh, because this is uh, a global JavaScript environment managed by the plugin. Uh, you, you only need this, this file once on start to, to install all the functions and then you can close the file or you can switch to a different file and those are always available until FileMaker quits. And you could use that on the server too. So do we have some question about this? You mean they're, they're gonna be available across files? Yes. And can that's, you use the standard math lips and et cetera? I think the math functions we have in the JavaScript engine, if, if you miss something, let me know. Uh, I recently showed how to well, add a missing function. You can of course define your own um, function like we have the, let me just go to the documentation page. So on our JavaScript engine, you can define your own uh, custom functions and you can define to allow a function to evaluate FileMaker stuff or run a SQL command or trigger a script if you, if you need that. So you can define that there should be a function, for example, named fm evil, and then you can just use it in, in your JavaScript to call back to FileMaker. Uh, Christian, just one question. How persistent uh, will the uh, new function, new defined function live in the FileMaker space? I said you can install the functions and your start script and then they are existing until FileMaker quits. Okay, thank you. And um, I also added a new uh, JavaScript list function. So you could actually check if, uh, if it's already uh, defined. Uh, not yet on this page. Okay, it's coming. So if you have any questions, please, please let me know. Otherwise, thank you for listening and maybe I can write another blog post about it. <laughs>